Action number two today. How long you uh, like half an hour. You bringing that? Nah, no, I don't have any of this. We could bring the freedom for all justice for animals and the people that are facing the people driving up and down could hold that while we hold the banner on the other side. Uh, yeah, my, uh, the, someone else brought it for me because we had it down there and now they have it. You could bring it. Yeah, yeah, bring it. We'll draw attention. You can hold this again if you want, Laszlo. Um, this is like this is like your key. Oh yes. This is like your it's key thing. Yes. What can I carry? Um, for now we're pretty good actually. I think maybe we could bring one or two signs. I don't know, or who? I guess it's just who else is here right now. Who else is coming out? How many people are we? My car. Oh so my, loud. I know it's so loud and that's specifically to attract yeah. people too. That's so funny. Thank you so much. Yes. I was like, where's the siren on this thing? So I always hear you guys do it. Yes, it's so fun. I love, I love using the siren. Do you, uh, does anyone want to hold a sign? Because we do have signs with QR codes, but I don't think, I don't, do you think people would stop there to kind of, no. no, eh? So I think we'll just have this folded out and that on, off on the thing. Cool, let's do it. Whoop, whoop. Here, do you want to, uh, let's hold this as we walk up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first time at App. Well, actually, first time at Applebee since Regan's live life has been taken. I think the banner we had down here. I have that one too. That day. Oh. I think Adam gave that one to me. It's another banner that I have in the back of my car, but I, I forget what it says on it. I didn't unfold it again. Yeah, yeah, we should check when we go back. Fuck. That's it, we go intercept him up here. Oh look, there's someone at the corner there. Have we ever thought of starting to Oh, okay, okay. Should I say to the people to look at the truck? That one wasn't blocked on the other side. Wow. So there's no reason why it would be like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I beg you for money. I know. Keeping it hard.
What a beautiful day. So I can go with the two people on that side with this one. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, like we need to have it on one side or the other facing the people. Yeah, that's a good point. Unless it's gonna blind people driving. <laughs> they're trying to look at it, they're like, ugh. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. And then you'll have enough people for the big one. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, just to cross over? Bring the crew, bring the crew. Careful, oh, careful, careful. So careful. Uh, <laughs> that was a little funny, let's I uh, have to admit. <laughs> no, you guys, stay here, stay here. Scott, Scott, stay here. We're doing the big banner. They're just gonna hold that one on that side. We need your help. We must ban fur farming in Canada. And you can help us by going to the online petition at the House of Commons to end fur farming in Canada. We need you to take action. Please sign the petition to end fur farming. Please go to the online petition to ban fur farming. We need your help. The animals need your help. Oh, it's not high. It almost gives me like a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, anxiety. There's a lot of traffic. Yes. Make sure you don't drop it. Please go to the online petition so we can end fur farming. Come, what are you doing? Hey. Hey? Give me a second there, I'm just gonna re... Watch my megaphone behind you, okay? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna need you guys uh, in the middle here. Do you guys hold the kind of or the kind of Both. I'm just right now trying to pull more of the string. Can you give me some string? Just give me some string. Okay, good, good, yeah. Okay, so let's, from here, I think we're gonna bring it, yeah, right over here. We need to put it over that post there, yeah. Drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. Drag it out, drag it out. Good. Can you hold this? 
this for one second, I'm gonna go get my megaphone. So like both, like the rope and the thing, yeah. So clearly, we're here. New Wave Activism at Thurman's in uh, Burlington, Ontario. And right now a group of us walked over from the slaughterhouse where we were trying to bear witness and raise awareness for the baby pigs that are heading to slaughter. Uh, we are currently at Appleby Line right now on the bridge crossing to end fur farming here in Canada. I'm here with an amazing group of activists and we get a lot of support from the people coming by. Most people agree that end fur farming is really the key. Like, we must end fur farming. It's ridiculous. The fact that we allow uh, animals to continue to suffer, to be born into captivity and bred over and over again in order to produce uh, fur for fashion and it doesn't keep people warm. Like we have everything that we need without having to kill animals to keep ourselves warm here in Canada or anywhere else in the world. And there's amazing companies out there that are 100%. Oh, hopefully they're gonna fix that. There's a, <laughs> having a little bit of technical problems with the wind. There you go, it's getting better, it's getting better. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, we know that uh, it is time to end fur farming. If you haven't had a look at um, eating animals causes pandemics, 
uh, com. You can look up the information there with the link with what's happening with COVID and the way we treat and abuse and exploit animals and eat animals. So uh, fur farming is just another way that we exploit animals. And this is a, it's crazy. Like if you haven't heard about what happened in Denmark, in Ireland and BC, uh, there's been a transmission between human to mink, mink to human, and they've had to kill millions of minks because of a mutated form of COVID. So you guys, this isn't just animal rights. This is also human rights. It is all tied in. So we really need your help. We need you to go to the online petition at the House of Commons, represented by Nathaniel Screen Smith and the Fur Bearers, where we uh, can end the fur farming here in Canada at the federal level. And these animals go through immense suffering, like unmeasurable suffering. They're born in captivity. They live in cages in their own shit and feces. And honestly, it's not okay. All of this in the name of fashion, it makes absolutely no sense. So we decided to take action today. Uh, there's a lot of people that are usually honking and on our side when they look up and see what's happening. So hopefully uh, very, very soon, we know that by 2022, we'll have a private member's bill in and to ensure that we end fur farming here in Canada. But we need your help. So please, please go to the online petition at the House of Commons, look up End Fur Farming Canada, and there's an online petition at the House of Commons represented by Nathaniel Screen Smith and uh, also by the fur bearers, and we really need to end fur farming, you guys. So we need your help though, you have to take action. This petition actually closes at the end of March, on March 31st. So we need to get as many signatures as possible. We started with about 137 signatures and now it's it's a way past 5,500, but we need this to get past like 10,000. So please take action, you guys, help us. We really, really need and want to end fur farming. Help us for the animals, help us for our own fellow uh, human beings that have to actually kill those animals and that are also being contaminated with other forms of COVID, which is gonna perpetuate this even longer, right? Like you guys have been in lockdown and I hear people complaining all the time. Well, it's nothing like being born in captivity, being bred in existence just to be killed for your skin and your fur. So like we can make a difference. We can be the change that we wish to see. And we really don't need to be farming animals for their fur. So we really, really need your help, you guys. Go to the House of Commons, go to the online petition, and please help us end fur farming. We really, really need your help, okay? So I'm down here. I'm gonna give the opportunity of uh, to other of my animal activist friends to uh, come down here and climb the, the railing and come down and all of this crap and junk, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, fur farming is not our only problem, right? Like, look at that. But anyway, it's one of our many, many problems, but we need your help to end it. So please, just a nice little signature. Yes, thank you so much, Adrian, for sharing the petition down there. Thank you. I would have had to do that after, so I really appreciate you jumping in here. Uh, and thank you, Sandra, I really appreciate that. So um, please, like, share it to as many people as possible. We have made, I've made these pins here uh, that says no fur, peace and justice for animals. I gave a whole bunch last week to a whole bunch of activists. We're distributing them everywhere in Canada. We want people to help us ban fur farming and help us make this world a better place. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Please take action. That's all I ask so I can rest in peace. <laughs> Mwah. Have a great day. It's so sunny out there. The universe is shining for us so that we can end this for the animals. They really, really need our voice. We can hear them scream, we can hear them cry, we see them going crazy and living in misery, So, but they can't speak our language. And because of that, uh, fellow humans think that it's okay to abuse and exploit them. And it really e isn't. Like, that's the definition of speciesism in itself, right? Where we're just thinking that we're better than everyone else and we could therefore exploit them and treat them however we want to our own benefit without thinking any further of their suffering and what else that involves and the different consequences. So please help us end speciesism, help us end fur farming, inform yourself. I had a great conversation with a police officer this morning at Fearmen's and we were talking about making informed and educated decisions. 
it's so important you guys so please like do your research help us end fur farming and let's move this world to a better place okay i, I know we can do it and we can only do it together Mwah. here on Instagram. We are currently at Appleby and um, Appleby and where again? Appleby Fairview-ish uh, at the crossing here and we're trying to motivate people to help us end fur farming here in Canada. We're getting tons of love from the traffic, from the public. Uh, they're all pretty um, aware that we need to end fur farming here in Canada and we need your help so we need you to please go to the House of Commons and sign the online petition represented by Nathaniel Screen Smith at the federal level and the fur bearers. We need you to sign that petition please. Uh, we really need people to take action in order to help those animals that as I mentioned earlier in my Facebook live you know they, they, they can scream, they can cry, they can fight for their lives and live in misery you know they're bred in captivity and, and really live in misery so we need you to help us stop this uh, all you need to do is sign that online petition please share it with your friends this petition is only valid until March 31st and also because it's a very good petition that's held at the House of Col Commons um, we need you to verify your confirmation signature in your email address you need to go in your email address after you've signed the petition to confirm that uh, it is you and to validate it so that it is valid so please go sign that petition all you have to do is Google and fur farming a house of commons and you'll find that petition we need you to sign it it closes at the end of March so we need as many people as possible to take action here um, we've got a group of awesome activists that are showing our end of fur farming to the public who are giving us a good response and really we're here just asking you for help right we're asking you for help to go sign that online petition at the house of commons so that we could stop this uh, our animal friends really don't deserve this if you've seen any footage around fur farming you know that it is absolutely abhorrent and we, we cannot continue to do this to our poor individual being friends like it's absolutely crazy the fact that we breed them into existence, keep them captive, and then kill them solely for their fur and for fashion, when it doesn't even keep us warm. Like we can literally, uh, you, we have so many other ways and alternatives, amazing companies out there that are selling products that are for free and that keep you warm, that are great quality. So I highly suggest uh, you look into Wooksby and you look into Save the Ducks and you look into Noise and there's tons more there's lists of retailers out there for you and options so please help us end fur farming go to the online petition at the house of commons and uh take action and go to your email after and validate your signature we need you to absolutely validate that okay so thank you so much you guys like we absolutely need your help here in order to make this world better we, we need people to take action and that's one thing is those animals those animals can 100 percent not be captive and bred and and skinned alive for their fur like we can absolutely change that and we're the only ones that can change that for them because we have a voice and we can communicate that and we can change laws and we can end fur farming so please help us be a part of this positive history for the animals for the humans because if you don't know already if you don't know already it's also like fully mutated covid and there's tons of things that have happened in denmark and in other places around the world like Ireland and even in BC Ontario so 
uh, there's been like human to mink transmission and they're, they've had to kill millions and millions of minks because of this. So this is just as much human as animal rights, you guys. So we really, really need your help. Go to that online petition at the House of Commons and just enter End for Farming and you will uh, come across the petition and you can help us ban fur farming. And if you're an animal activist and you're looking to take action as well, send me a DM and uh, let's get you started in your area so that we can absolutely uh, end this. The animals need our voice, so please have an awesome day, you guys. Yes. All these awesome souls over here speaking up for the animals. Freedom for all. Justice for animals on the other side here. Held by three beautiful ladies. Excellent. Excellent. All right, I'm out. We need your help. We need you to go to the online petition at the House of Commons so that we can end fur farming in Canada. <coughs> hey? No, is that the news or something? I don't know. Yeah. That's why I came back up so that anyone else who wanted to do a story or something. Cool. at the House of Commons to help us end fur farming. It's just a Google away. House of Commons, ban fur farming. End fur farming Canada. Please, we need you to take action. The animals need you to take action. Do you want to switch play? Is it too, uh, is, it, is it hurting your ears?
go to the online petition at the House of Commons and sign to help us end fur farming. You need to confirm in your email afterwards to make it valid. super warm. Do you want to wear my other gloves? You what? I was thinking like another 20 minutes probably. How are these guys feeling over there? I was thinking like, um, do you guys want to like take pictures, record, do anything? It's your call. We could do some change, if not. No, you're good, eh? You're good? You what? Yeah? You what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, are you gonna go down there? So do you want to do you want to take Scott's position? He's gonna. Oh, there's a cop here. Fuck. Okay, Scott. Scott. Can you hold, hold this please? Yeah. Hi. Unfortunately you can't do this because the thing is is that if you cause any sort of distracted driving or cause an accident or something like that, I just don't want you guys to be held liable for it. Oh, I've so, been doing this every weekend though. I don't, we just got a call in, like I, I just got sent here, they just, they said just because the thing is, is that if this causing like people looking up, if you cause an accident or something, then you guys are liable for it. And I just, I don't want that to happen. So, I, you guys are more than welcome to protest. It's just distracting highway driving, and stuff like that, especially if you have fifty minutes. But that's 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 why we want to be doing that, I right? Because we want as many people. Like, I don't know if you're. Do you know what our sign's about? Yep. Or oh, we're the Fearman protesters. But we're not here in regards to that at all. This is to end fur farming. Okay. So I'm actually, so Sabrina is the organizer for uh, Fearman's yeah. and I'm the organizer for the fur protests. Okay. I have never had a problem in my life in Oakville. We usually always do it at the Dorval crossing. Yeah. It's been weekend after weekend. It's just this time I decided to come and uh, see these guys here also at Fearman's and take the group and then come here at Appleby. Right, yeah. uh, it's not the first time we do it here. And like this is kind of a very pressing and urgent manner right now. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware like what happened in Denmark, what happened in Ireland, what happened in BC, Ontario to the minks and what happened on fur farming and the fact that they mutated COVID and yeah. they were all killed. So there's like a lot of background story to this and like we need people to take action. So I understand what you're saying, yeah. but I mean, again, it's like when we're driving, like we're not in control of where people are looking, like people look everywhere all right. the time people are doing it they're eating when they're driving they're doing whatever right yep. like we're not i'm not doing anything that's like shining light in their eyes or trying to if anything they might not even see it because it's just this black banner that's sticking against the thing right i'm pretty sure it's probably pretty dull because it's probably about 15 feet long so it's not like it's, it's, it's definitely a big banner yeah. <laughs> i will no, give you that like, um, like it's, it has nothing to do with the message you're trying to convey or anything like that it's more for public safety than anything yes, else. yes so yeah that's the only reason that but it's not illegal though. It's not illegal. Yeah, We're, yeah. I'm just saying like, oh, okay. it's like a public safety kind of thing. I'm yeah. not here to say that you're doing something criminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what I mean is like, we were just gonna stay for like an extra 10 minutes and then we were gonna go anyway. Okay. Okay. Can we just That's kind of yeah, finish the 10, minute, yeah. 10 minutes and we go? So we, we agree to disagree? Yep. Awesome, okay. thank right. you. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, Officer Harrington? Harrington yeah. What's your uh, badge number? 30053. 30053, yeah. thank you so much. No I appreciate problem. that. Have a great day.
Pull it up. We have 10 more minutes. Oh, okay. So you can go yeah. do that if you want. Him. I said we were doing 10 more minutes like come on he's like all right <laughs> yeah an accident on there he doesn't want us to be pliable but I'm like honestly this is an urgent manner like I don't care <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey at least he knew about the fur he, he knew what happened in Denmark, in Ireland, in BC. He was aware of the correlation. So. Scott was a little smarter than me. <laughs> he went way out. I went in like the super steep hill. <laughs> Doesn't it inspire you when everyone hogs? Nice. Woo! Yes. go tell these guys tell them saw that, eh? Finger back, fuck you. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. <laughs> My hands needed exercise, you know, changing from peace to fuck you.
please go to the House of Commons online and sign the petition to ban fur farming. Please go to the online petition at the House of Commons to help us and the animals ban fur farming. House of Commons online petition. <laughs> There's an online petition at the House of Commons. We need your help to end fur farming in Canada. Please go to the House of Commons online to ban fur farming. Sign the petition and confirm it in your email to validate. There's a truck over there. With all the support we get, you would think that it would already be banned, right? All right, five more minutes, you guys. I kind of want to take my place Oh, okay, okay. Hey. much traffic. Can you go take her place? She also wants to go down. Lots of people are recording. <laughs> Look, there, there.
She's coming back. two fuck yous while he was driving <laughs> he was he was really dedicated you guys decide it's just so inspiring to ban fur farming in Canada. The animals need your voice. We need your help to end fur farming in Canada. Go online to the House of Commons. There's a petition to end fur farming. Please sign the petition at the House of Commons to end fur farming. We need your help. The animals need your help. Sign the online petition at the House of Commons to end fur farming. Please go to the online petition at the House of Commons. Sign it to help us end fur farming. You can take action now and be a part of a positive history. Go to the House of Commons, sign the petition. Please help us end fur farming. Go to the online petition at the House of Commons and sign the petition to end fur farming. Confirm it in your email after, please. For your support now please take action sign the online petition at the house of commons please help us end fur farming sign the online petition at the house of commons to end fur farming in canada validate your signature in your email after please
we're talking about when we're talking about agriculture. <laughs> Baby, can you take it? Maybe it's a sign. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna roll it. So keep it like that. You guys are pros. Thank good. you. Thank you so much for coming and joining and getting a different feel. Yeah. Than the hate. Yeah. There was more thumbs up than middle fingers. So when we were when we were over there. Perfect, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. We're gone. We're gone. I said 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, officer. <laughs> what, was his, uh, what was his issue? Just like us dropping something? No, just the safety because there's so much traffic. I said that's the point though. <laughs> no, but safety like for the traffic people? Yeah, for people to, to get in an accident because they're looking yeah, up. Yeah. And no, I said, I get it. But isn't that so but at the end of the day, it's like there's no Thank you. Says we can't do it. That's what I said. I said it's not illegal. Yeah, and no, I said no, if we drop something, then yeah, we'll have a problem. If someone, if something happens, then we have a problem. Yeah, he said. He said I don't want you to be liable. Yeah, we will. Be but then I said, I said, happens. but I said this is too much of an urgency. Like I don't. I, I said at the end of the day, like, do you know what happened? And he knew. He knew what happened. Oh, he knew what happened with yeah. no no he knew what happened in Denmark in Ireland oh, and yeah, yeah. BC to all the minks yeah, to like yeah. the first because at first he goes yeah yeah I, I know you guys are the Fearman's group I'm like Sabrina's the leader of new activism where we go to Fearman's but now we're here specifically for fur like yeah. we're not you know what I mean I'm like and this is a really urgent matter we could get fur farming out and like we need yeah. to be doing this and he's like That is so fucked up. Babe, do you want to give me the megaphone? Thanks. We need your help. Please go to the online petition at the House of Commons to end fur farming in Canada. This petition closes at the end of March. We need you to sign this petition. These animals are bred in captivity and kept alive to be skinned for their fur. It makes no sense and we can end fur farming here in Canada, but we need your help. Please go to the online petition at the House of Commons. Sign the petition to end fur farming in Canada and confirm it in your email address, please. These animals deserve better than this and we need your help. Please go to the online petition at the House of Commons to help us end fur farming. These animals deserve better than to be bred in captivity and skinned for their fur. Please confirm your signature and your email address after. And I posted the petition and that girl follows me too. So I'm sure she was pissed when she saw that. 
like no. my story and Abby follows me. Oh yeah, I'm sure she's pissed. They already don't like me because I took Mark's Oh, okay. Because Mark, she doesn't Mark's Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm, yeah, I better when they, he dated her up until January. Please go to the online petition at the House of Commons to help us ban fur farming from Canada. These animals deserve better than this and they need your voice. Please go to the online petition at the House of Commons to help us end fur farming. This petition is only good until March 31st. We need your help to take action now. These animals need your help. They are bred in captivity their entire lives to be skinned alive for their fur. This is unacceptable. We need you to speak up for those animals. We can end fur farming in Canada. This is an extremely unnecessary practice that involves so much suffering for animals and humans alike. Please help us stop the spread of COVID as well. Like people drive by too fast to be able to give them like clear instructions on what to do. Yeah, you know the, the New York uh, fur store in downtown Toronto? No. no, which one? New York? No, I have never heard of it. No? 